What's new for the Ram 1500 for the 2022 model year? Well, they've added a new GT package available on Rebel, Laramie, and Canadian Sport trims, along with the new Uconnect 5 infotainment system. So I brought a 2022 Ram 1500 Canadian Sport with the GT package to show you guys all the great new features. So the GT package is more than just an appearance package. It comes with the 5.7 liter Hemi V8, standard 392 rear end. Under the hood is the Mopar Ram Airflow cold air intake. And around back is a Mopar catback exhaust system. Now starting at the front of this truck here, you can see the blacked out Ram badging. It does get a new grill insert for 2022 for the Canadian Sport, the Bighorn, and I believe that's it for trims. You have the blacked out headlight, LED headlights with the Sport trim. Sport performance hood comes standard. Got these blacked out 20 inch aluminum wheels. Nice side steps, blacked out trim, and then you've got your GT badge on the side of the box there. And around back, the exhaust tips are a black chrome. So inside the Sport GT here, the GT package does now include the soft upper door trims. You've got some nice suede in the door panels there. You get some paddle shifters, along with the console shifter from the TRX. You also get the seats from the TRX that are a little more bolstered and they have the GT logo in them. Interestingly, uh, it adds the cooling seats to the Canadian Sport. On the Rebel trim, it does not add the cooling seats, which I still find weird. I don't know why they're so determined to keep cooled seats out of the Rebel. Um, so down here where the rotary shifter normally is, you've got your four wheel drive controls along with the on off for the e-torque start stop system. You do get some metal pedals. The Canadian sports get the gauges from the Rebel. I imagine that's gonna be the same for the Laramie Sport. Okay, so taking a look at the new Uconnect 5 system, this is your home screen here. As you can see, there's two widgets here. So you've got your top widget is navigation, bottom widget, you can choose it. So Sirius XM. You can also go to my pages you can add a page. Now here's your four layouts. So one with the larger widget up top, two smaller on the bottom, one with two smaller up top, one larger one on the bottom, four, so a smaller widget in each corner, or two, so two medium-sized widgets take up the screen there. Going to your media settings here, so you can finally now save presets from Sirius XM and AM and FM on the same preset bar. So you don't have to go back and forth between your sources on your presets. I really like that. I think that's a nice change there. Now going to comfort, similar as before, just a little bit of a different style. You've got your controls for your heated and cooled seats, heated steering wheel. Being the 12 inch screen, you do not have physical controls for the heated seats or wheel which I wish they did, but hopefully they will fix that in the future. The rest of your climate stuff also works the same. Navigation is a new system. It's nice and crisp. You can pinch to zoom, you can zoom out, you can pull along your map here. It's a really nice, really nice system. It's nice and quick and the graphics are very nice as well. Now here for your phone, you can pair your Bluetooth but it does have wireless Android Auto and wireless CarPlay. So here we go, I'm gonna pair my phone and you'll see something else that's really nice with this as well. So I'm gonna search for it on Bluetooth here. Pair up. And now you'll see CarPlay, there we go. Choose use CarPlay on your phone. Now we're all synced up and take a look at this. So you now have your wireless CarPlay takes up the whole screen. Whereas before on the Uconnect 4 systems, 
you have to plug your phone in and it just used half the screen. So this is a really nice touch. I really like that. And as you guys can see, here's my phone there. No cables, just all set uh, wirelessly. Then you've got your vehicle settings, performance pages as well. I don't think it's gonna show up right now. Oh, yep, there we go. So you've got performance pages, gauges, G-Force, vehicle dynamics. The performance pages are part of the Uconnect system there. So very cool. You've also got all your controls and settings there. It won't show up because the truck is not in run. And then you do have your typical app screen that you guys would be used to. You could even drag and drop, I believe. You can still drag and drop. No, maybe not. Maybe you have to click there and add it to your favorites page. Interesting. So it does not look like you can drag and drop anything to the menu bar anymore. Interesting. I could be wrong, but it's just my first time really playing with the system. Overall, I really like it. I think it's a nice upgrade, especially that full screen car play. I really like that. All right, so out on the road in the Ram 1500 Sport GT, it doesn't drive any different than you've come to expect from a new body style Ram 1500. It's nice and smooth. The powertrain is very refined. This eight speed transmission, I still believe firmly is the best transmission in the full size truck lineup. Because while well, I've got a confession to make, I bought a 2021 F-150 with that new power boost hybrid just because I got all excited about the uh, power torque and fuel efficiency of the hybrid powertrain. And I can tell you guys right now that the Ford 10 speed transmission is miserable. I like the way this transmission shifts much better in the Ram. The eight speed just shifts nice and smooth grabs gears you don't feel it shift and really eight speeds is all you really need everyone gets caught up in this numbers game the 10 speed in my f-150 is very clunky at low speeds it's clunky downshifting it's um yeah been a pretty big disappointment so big kudos to ram for sticking with this eight speed transmission and really just continuing to refine it over the years this is also actually the first 5.7 Hemi e-torque truck I've driven. I did review a uh, Bighorn with the Pentastar V6 with e-torque. Um, I'll put a link to that up here. Previously, um, I liked that powertrain. It's obviously not the Hemi power-wise. And on the Hemi here, it's just so refined. You don't really feel it kicking on and off at all. So big props to them. Now, part of the GT package, as we mentioned earlier, were the same seats from the TRX with more bolstering and higher up. They are nice and comfortable seats. They are uh, not too firm, not too soft. Got a really nice feel to them. They are heated and cooled. Um, you've got that Ram Airflow cold air intake under the hood from Mopar and the Mopar exhaust that also comes on the uh, GT trucks and it's got a really nice tone to it. So you see the competitors like the 2022 Tundra going to a coil spring rear end, just like the uh, new F-150 Raptor. And there's definitely a reason for that because the Ram does have class leading ride for sure. It's firm and smooth at the same time, if that makes sense. The truck doesn't feel floaty, feels nice and planted. And I think manufacturers with leaf spring rear ends, like my F-150, they try to tune it so soft to compete with the ride that the truck actually becomes really floaty. Um, I might actually do a video on my F-150 and just give my thoughts compared to the Ram if that's something you guys are interested in. 
But overall, for 2022, Ram goes into the market in a really good place. I personally think that they still have the best truck. The powertrains are a little outdated. I would like to see some changes there. But um, other than that, it's a great truck, guys. All right, guys, I hope you learned a little bit about the 2022 Ram 1500 GT package. If you did, leave a like down below, leave a comment, and we will see you guys in the next video. Also, I know some of you guys have subscribed recently because of our Dakota RT project. Don't worry, there's some big news coming for that soon. It's actually really exciting, and we're adding another project to the mix. So stay tuned. Take care.